What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue working on the 2018 Ram 2500 and in the previous episode we did get started on the driver's side doors. We just got a little bit more body work to take care of and those doors will be salvaged out. For the right side I did get new doors which should be pretty easy and quick to scuff and prep for paint. That is if there's not any damages. So stay tuned and let's get started boys. boys so we got the doors off the truck just to make it a little bit more easier to work on this door i hit with the second pass on the da and i don't see any other dents i've already got the paint cleaned up right over here and guys i'm super excited we got some new shop tools coming in for a sneak peek go check out dent fix equipment on instagram i'll put their link in the description check out some of the tools they sell that makes this type of work a breeze for now, let's go ahead and use this old fashioned stud welder, get some nails welded in, and then we'll be ready to slap some filler. Let's keep moving, boys. So we got the dent pulled out. It actually came out really easily and none of the nails broke off, which is also a good sign because you always have to spend more time welding those holes up. We got this little area right here prepped as well. Now let's go ahead and mix up some filler, slap some on, and then we'll be ready for some primer. All right guys, so we got the final layer of glazing sanded. Everything feels nice and smooth. Same as with this little ding on the front door. It is getting kind of late on me, so let's go ahead and mix up some primer, slick this in, and call it a day, boys. Heck yeah guys, check this out. We don't have any damages so far. That is one of the perks of working with brand new parts. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get these scuffed down. I don't wanna bore you guys with any of the sanding and then we'll pick you guys up once we get these ready for some sealer. Next day here, we got the doors ready for paint, but I am gonna go ahead and seal those off first. It was kind of time consuming because I did go ahead and sand all the door hinges and bolts so that once we get the doors painted, we're not waiting on any of that. But for now, let's go ahead and mix up some sealer and get to spraying, boys.
All right, boys, so the sillers laid down. We gave it plenty of time to dry. We also got a new paint gun for this paint job. It's the DeVilbis GTI Pro. I've got some good results out of my old one, so this one should do the trick for this paint job. We also went with a different brand of base coat and clear. It's the Dynaco. For now, let's go ahead and pour some paint in the gun and get to spraying. All right, boys, so the base coat is laid down. It's going smooth so far. So now let's go ahead and mix up some clear and get these slicked in. Drop a like. What's up guys next day here and check this out we got the doors on the truck overall i'd say the clear laid down really smooth but i'd be lying if i said it was perfect there are a few pieces of trash which is kind of expected from a garage paint job which is not a big deal because we are going to cut and buff the whole truck once we get all the panels painted for now we're going to let the paint cure for another day or so before i start assembling the handles and tightening all these bolts i don't want any paint to chip around those 
I would like to get started on the front end and get the cooling system together. We are still missing our radiator fan assembly, which should be coming in today. Thanks guys for all the love and support. If you are new on the channel, hit that like bell and sub button to support your boys. Follow us on Instagram at danny.tv. The link is in the description. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments. Thanks for watching till the end and I'm out. I'll catch you in the next one.